matter which route you're sailing on with DFDS today, all the wildlife we're going to be talking about in this video can be seen throughout all of the DFDS routes. So please do head out on deck and see what animals you can spot. Whales and dolphins or cetaceans are marine mammals. So they give birth to live young. The young suckle milk from their mothers. They're warm blooded and they breathe air. So when they come up to breathe, this gives us an amazing opportunity to actually see these animals. Whales and dolphins can be split into two groups, those that have teeth and those that don't. Animals that have teeth are mainly dolphins and porpoises and some whales, and they use their teeth to catch quite large prey one by one. However, the baleen whales, which are our large whales like humpback whales, blue whales and fin whales, they have something called baleen. And baleen is a big brush that hangs from their top jaw, which is made out of keratin, the same material as our hair and our fingernails. And what they do is they engulf large amounts of prey and water in their mouth. And the brush kind of acts like a sieve. And once the whale squeezed all the water out of their mouth, they run their tongue along the baleen and swallow all the food. So in terms of the baleen whales that we can spot, the most common is the minke whale. And we especially see a peak minke whale sightings in August, September time. Minke whales can go up to about 10 metres long. They have these beautiful white stripes on their pectoral fins, on their arms and they're used for herding up prey. Just a couple of years ago, one of the crew on the Dover Dunkirk route saw a breaching humpback whale out of the bridge windows. They're beautiful animals, famous for their acrobatics. They're also famous for their amazing songs that they sing, which can last up to four hours. We've even been lucky enough to spot killer whales, and killer whales are actually the largest species of dolphin. They're not a whale because they have teeth, in 2018, we did see a single killer whale on the Newcastle to Amsterdam route, but killer whales can especially be seen all throughout the North Sea and even slightly into the Baltic as well. The harbour porpoise is quite a small animal, about 1.7 metres long. You'll see a very small equilateral triangle shaped dorsal fin, that's the fin on their back, sort of rolling through the water. And because they're so small, you only really get to see them in really calm seas. So if you look out the window today and the sea looks like a mirror, that is the best time to watch for harbour porpoise. And around the UK we actually get the largest bottlenose dolphins in the world, growing up to an impressive four metres long. So they don't breathe out of their mouth, they breathe through their blowhole, which is on top of their head, and that helps them to breathe really quickly and efficiently as they're rolling through the water. We also get other dolphin species like the white-beaked dolphin, especially around sort of the port of time. And through Orca's data, we actually think that that area is especially important for nursery pods. We often get a lot of seal sightings. There's two different species of seals that we could see. The common seal, which looks more like a cat, and the grey seal, which looks more like a dog. So there's a huge variety of different bird life that we could see from the ferry as well. So make sure you look into the sky we get loads of different species of gull. We also get the very impressive gannet, which can dive into the water at speeds of 60 miles an hour. And the gannet is the largest seabird that we could see. We also see other species like kittiwake, tiny guillemots, razorbills, and if we're lucky, even puffins with their colorful beaks. If you see a really big group of birds, especially if they're circling and diving into the water, that often means there's loads of fish around. And what whales and dolphins will do is herd fish up from below to make them easier to catch. And you've got the birds diving from above. So keep your eyes on that spot because you never know what might turn up. And if you do see anything, make sure to let us know on Twitter and what crossing you're on and what animal you think you've seen as well. So you might also want to consider becoming an orca member and you can do that through our website and that will help us continue our vital conservation work for the future.